Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and I'm returning to World of Evo, where, uh, well, I'm more continuing my last playthrough. The video was getting a little long, so I had to kind of cut it. But yes, my feeling about this game already in perfect text on screen. Yep, yeah, that too. Well, the date hasn't gone on, but the time's gone back to um, nine o'clock. There wasn't any like heel music either. There's usually a little jingle to represent that you've gone to sleep or something. So that was a load of pot literally dumped in my face badly. I mean, it felt rushed. It's just like the whole plot is being rushed along. And everyone's, oh, for God's sake, sodding ladders. And everyone's making, like, stupid logic jumps, which don't really make sense. Save so I don't have to go through that cutscene again. Now do we go this way? Oh, okay. Um, there's apparently a quest screen somewhere here. Quit party status. Um, quests? Nope. Files, not theirs. Why do you even have a save thing there if you can't use it wherever you want? Um, alright. There appears to be no. Ah, oh, it's a mission log item. People were telling them off about this in Drake Empire. Well, no clues of where it is. Yeah, that game had, didn't have a mission log at all. It was awful. Especially since uh, the endings change depending on the missions. And I say ending. Um, that's a generous term for uh, a few seconds. which was quite bad. I know I keep bringing Drake Empire up, but it is the previous game I played by the same company, and certain things seem to have um, been improved, but others not so much. So, have I walked off without the princess? Okay, I've got to be careful because my HP goes down very quickly fighting all these little guys. Wait, I hit both of them? Why did I hit both of them? So, so far, the Andrea Empire at the very start, you get given a sword that no one in the game can equip. Uh, it's like a... It just feels like that was left in there as a experiment on how to place items, and they just neglected to take it out. But this time round, I've been given an axe that is worse than my basic starting weapon, and there's no reason I'll ever equip it. Is it going to be like just a theme with these games? You get useless junk weapons right at the start of the game. You always get one. Oh god, I've already sunk 30 minutes into this nearly. That's not including the intro as well. Or I certainly don't think it is. Okay, I went up last time. Can I go this way? Can I go that way? Can I go any way? Oh, wait a minute. 
Yes, I will have to kill you. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button there. Oh, that was my own fault why there was no response. Sure, I clip. Ah, oh, more of this scenery clipping. Please be on the beach, princess. I am just going along the beach, hitting use constantly. Because um, there was a mini game which was sort of like a digging mini game where you could dig all over the place on Drake Empire, and you could literally dig up practically anywhere in this town. And I'm worried that they've done the same thing here, where I'm just, to find this amulet, I need to just press use on a random square that might not have any indication of being a used square. Also, one of them was there was like something hidden in a bush. Like a wallet hidden in a bush and there was no indication it was a usable item. I found it by pure fluke. Alright, the princess isn't here. I've somehow missed finding a core party member in a uh, place that literally has two buildings. Let me guess, she was in the other room, which the guy was stood in front of the door on, which meant I couldn't get in. Oh, sod off. Gloomfoot and Gloomfoot. It's like, could it be a monster rank? I'm, 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 I'm kind of giving these guys excuses to... Um, not have reason. And why does that, that doesn't make any sense? Random anime girl who isn't one of the party members yet just pops up. Okay, come on. The absolute pointlessness of the run button is beginning to irk me as well. Let's go around you. Fine. Use your demise! It's like so slow! Ooh, I'll get that. I'm not turning down any uh, loot. Just don't get why I can attack both of them. Uh... God, how part of me just hopes I don't find this amulet because it will involve having to run all the way back through this again because there's no quick travel to previous locations. So I've got to walk all the way through the goddamn jungle again. Where I get attack magic, I might as well just keep hitting them. And this area is feels kind of pointless because it's so small. Um, unless there's going to be a cutscene here, it really feels pointless. It's like... Okay, is that... Oh, that door's still locked. Let's go up here. What? What? I was able to walk up that! And then it realised halfway through I somehow managed to walk up it without walking onto the arrow. No, that door's locked as well. Am I at the end of the demo already? And there's just no indication of it. Let's wait a second, was there a light effect on the floor there? I should have I saw something glowing around here somewhere. Oh, is this permanent sodding? Camera bloom! You know, lens flare! Can't remember what the damn effect's called! Why is that indoors? Keeps making me think there's like an item on the floor, the little one. Let me guess, it's in here. No! Okay, can I go into the next area 
Or did you... That's business is spelt wrong. So, the prin I've just been through my all my available areas and the princess is nowhere to be found. Have I finished this already? Oh my god, what the hell? You've got an end... <sighs> Don't tell me that was it for the demo. This is ridiculous. I've, I've checked both. I've checked down. So can I go this way? Can I go off the side? No, I can't. For some reason, this also has a door there, but it also has an access over this side. Oh, I just have to talk to random NPC. Wait, I've got to go find random jobs. So, introduction to mini games. Oh my god, go to hell. You should have had an NPC tell me that. When I, um... You know, if the character it's like make an indication I was waiting at that bridge for her for a while. She doesn't turn up and an NPC comes along and tells you this. Why do the locals not like the princess? Don't tell me I can't continue until Um I find this amulet. I haven't picked it up by accident, have I? It'll come under key item, surely. Okay, world map doesn't work. I'm guessing that just... I don't know. Can I be... It's just there as a indication we can go to the overworld. Oh. Random music change. It's not... There we go. That spent too long. I thought it had locked up for a second there. Was that being played last night? Give me your hand, please. It just said that twice in a row. Please do not stop. I've been practicing all morning. I need a rest. Please do not stop. I've been practicing all morning. I need a rest. Ugh. Bet the sign is in danger. Also, he seemed I, again. The whole thing about his father not wanting him to leave and explore the world because it's dangerous. It's done so cheesily. It's like, don't go. It's dangerous. I mean, how how old is? Is it Blade or Blaze? Because it says Blade there, but I swear in the menu it said Blaze. On. Okay, now I can't indicate if I want to proceed or not. In the text, it's just going at its own pace. Where's the rest of the ship's crew? Plot points thrown at you at once. Okay, now we've got battle axe. 
Okay, he's Blaze, and the person in the cutscene was Blade. I wonder if there's, like, there's name similarities are just there to cause confusion. When you, you think it's him, and in fact what you're seeing is his, his uh, father in the cutscene. Okay, no. He's supposed to be a guard, he looks nothing like. Alright, here we go, here's a new NPC. It's nearly been another day! Oh, uh, Okay, as the previous videos have been overrunning slightly, I'm going to end this one here and I'll rejoin you at the beach. It's going to be another long slog of a walk, isn't it? <laughs>